So, I am here with Mario Flores, and we are at Michigan Revolution. Mario, tell us a little bit about the operation we got going on here. Well, uh, you're at the Rev. Uh, if you're a, if you're a, a wrestling uh, fanatic and uh, like us, um, chances are you've you've, you've been here. Uh, we were able to, um, you know, have a facility. You know, have a, have a space that's all wrestling. It's it's all about. Uh, so tell us, a, tell me a little bit about the process that went into you know getting this place. Well, I, I've been here in the I've been in the in the side room for you know two and a half mats for uh, you know four or five years, and then um, I guess I guess COVID uh, you know, changed things, right? And so um, we had three other uh, two other you know leases or other businesses in our space, and uh, we you know, we all worked together. But during COVID, uh, things things changed. So um, even the owner of the building wanted to. Uh, wanted to move on, right? It was it was the time and I feel like a lot of a lot of things, especially when we get into like wrestling coaching and, and new clubs, a lot of people, if you were on the fence with in your life, like you if it was time to, to hang it up and walk away, I guess I guess COVID was a, a perfect opportunity to do that. Yeah. You know, and, and some people uh, you know, hung up their boots. Some people, you know, kind of got you know out of competition and went into coaching. Some people, you know, just hung it up, hung hung it up and retired and went, moved on to other things. And so I feel like COVID was that uh, that that space for for a lot of people, and so for us, I, I mean, I love wrestling, and so when the opportunity came for us to either uh, absorb the building, absorb the space, or uh, or you know deal with the the, the outcome of, or the yeah the outcome or possibility of, of not having a space, uh, we we had to we had to make a decision, and, and we're just fortunate that uh, we were able to figure out a way to to do that. So. Uh, 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 you know, building on that, we we're just rocking. We're we're doing everything I can. We're working. You know, with the people around me are, are amazing, and we're just doing. You know, they're working tirelessly. So I mean, I, I you got to take the better with the glitter, man. Right. And uh, so some days are awesome, and, and some days are not so much. And so we're learning how to grow into the space. You know, we're we're, we're hope, I guess, man, we're probably twenty tournaments deep. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the energy seems to really be there. Yeah, I, I feel like it's. I feel like if you're like a wrestling person, like, and you walk in, like, Reb's Reb's a vibe. You right. know what I mean? Like, it Absolutely. really is. Like, the kids are free, and and I feel like uh, part of who I am it, it rubs off. You know what I mean? That I I, rest, I feel like my my personality uh, promotes like creativity and like uh, being naughty. Yeah. And so, right, um, right. so my kids they run around like little bandits, and and I feel like. Part of that is it, it translates to to just you know learning how to love wrestling and, and and for us since we do it at the you know at the you know four or five year old level and then we do it at the the, the youth and high school and, and beyond if, I feel like for us we have to create uh, a space where people love wrestling right. so uh, so that's what we're doing and, and you know the people around us are, are awesome and they uh, they get it right so um, so we're just grateful for that right now uh, tell me a little bit about Nemo. So Nemo is the Northeast uh, Michigan Wrestling Association. I think there's there's three leagues in Michigan. If, if you're if, uh, you're not super familiar with how the uh, the operation works, um, there's a USA Wrestling affiliate, and so it's uh, it's everything north. Well, actually, this year I, this year I, I I took the the presidency role um, with an awesome board, and so um, it all came about like last year. Uh, during COVID, they everyone was problem solving, right? And so, uh, I I think the the group of people uh, running that ship at the time, uh, Josh Swiss and his family and, and, and the board there, they were really looking for a, a, an answer. And um, fortunately for us, uh, the the Swift family is, is is part of our club in the summers and stuff. And so, uh, we reached out, we had a conversation, and I was like, well, you know, how do we make this work? And and we were able to you know have a handful of conversations and try and, and figure it out. And so. Um, it's an it's an awesome organization. I I love it. If you ever get a chance to, to, to go up and see their state finals, like they're they do an amazing job with their like they have like a coaches parade where all the kids like walk through and everyone like high fives them and then it's super cool, man. And then at the, uh, the award presentation, like the parents or the coaches, they like give the kid their trophy and like they they make it a they make it a thing, right? right. And so for me. Uh, when I was asked to, to kind of get behind it, there was things about that organization that that really like, you know, just triggered the you know, the inner uh, the little the right. inner little wrestler yeah. that was you, like yeah you, just, yeah, you like, gravitated towards it yeah it's like yeah. that was great and then now now we're learning how to to work together right I feel okay. like 
with COVID being uh, uh, at least open, right? It, like I mean, we're semi-open at, at this point. Um, everybody else is back, and so you're trying to figure out and navigate what is what, right? And and I feel like at the at the youth level, um, a lot of a lot of new coaches jumped in, right? And so we brought like, actually great for Michigan. There's a ton of college graduates that are now getting into the youth scene and the high school scene and, and, and are, you know, looking for these guys, these college graduates, and, and we're following the model of, of you know, the, the, the best uh, wrestling states in America, right? And what happens is when you're one of the best wrestling states, uh, that what happens is they go off to college and they go and they learn from all these other coaches and they get information and, they, and, they, and these experiences and they bring it back home, right? And they, and they create, you know, depth. And that's really what that what I really feel like we're doing right now, yeah. which is totally awesome. And so kudos and, and thank you to all you college grads that are looking for a, a space and, or, and finding it in, in youth programs and finding it in, in high school and colleges. And so uh, we're grateful because we're going to be better for, for guys like you guys. So it's, uh, it's one of those things, man, and, and, and we're just excited to, to really kind of be a part of it, if you will. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Um, so... If you are a female wrestler in Michigan, this is the place to be. I feel like it. Yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah. I feel. I feel like. Um, again, that was one of those things where um, Nick Simmons and uh, and Terry Pack, the guys at Legends of Gold, they were everyone across America. Like this is what was awesome in, about wrestlers, and and we were figuring it out. I was talking to to the guys in California, Jason Kraft and the Throne. And I was talking to guys, you know, all over the place. What are you doing? Zach to me is like, how are you guys, how are you guys figuring it out? How are we navigating this this new space, right? Yeah. And and how do you keep kids training that, uh, with with goals, right? If I have a goal of a world championship, I gotta, I gotta stay active, mm -hmm. right? I, I I can't lose a step, especially uh, um, when we're we're trying to climb this ladder, and, and and your progression has to be, you know, on pace to to your to your goal essentially. So. It was one of those where everybody got together, and then. Uh, Nick was like, hey, let's go do this tournament out in South Dakota. And it was, they replaced it with Fargo. And so all of the, uh, he was like, it's a girls team. And I was like, dude, I got like two girls in my club. And so what happened was uh, one of the girls' dad was like, hey, we'll do that. And um, Stacy Behrens, he was my assistant at Milford. And, and uh, he was a, an assistant coach at Albion, or uh, Adrian, sorry. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he was like, "Hey, can I bring some girls up?" And then one day, he was like, "Hey, man, I can't make it to practice. Would you be? Would you step in?" And there was, you know, a handful of girls, and and they, we had we had a, we had an instant connection. Like really, like for me and my personality, I feel like that connection was like instant. Yeah. And and we we hit it off, and we had a good practice, and they were like, "Will, will you come back?" And so I was like, "Yeah." And so we I talked to one of the dads, and we were like, "Let's come back." And all of a sudden, there was a whole gang of, of girls. They all showed up. They, so it just kind of snowballed. Yeah, there, they, huh? they it hit the it hit the waiver the waiver wire and was like, "Let's go!" And so it, it picked up. And they were like, "Do you want to build a team and, and coach it?" And I was like, "It's COVID. I got no, I got nothing going on. Yeah. Like I'll yeah. go with anything to get out of the house and I'll coach some girls." And and we really picked up uh, some traction. And and the and girls started coming in, but. I, I like freestyle. Like for me personally, I've, I've I grew up freestyle all the way to high school, mm -hmm. and so that that uh, international wrestling is it, for me it was like a treat. And mm -hmm. so I, I like folk style, but I, I really I really like freestyle. And so um, when we were able to teach that, coach that, uh, I feel like as I got older and like more mature as a as a coach, I was able to kind of transfer that folk style uh, gap, right? And how yeah. to and, and you see it all the time, like. How do I, I only wrestle folk style, and I'm like, okay, well, use your folk style to score freestyle points, yeah. right? And then we'll just make a couple adjustments to your approach and, and, and modify it, and we'll score points from all over the place. Right. And, and now we're scoring, you know, punches and bunches. That's awesome. And, and, and girls are, are, are chain and wrestling together, and, and some of the things that we've taught chain wrestling and, and, and kind of transitions and stuff like that and, and finding, the, finding, a, uh, finding points all over the place. Um, has helped them to really kind of just blow it out, and and since then, and it really was it, it was the chemistry, dude. It was the parents, it was the girls. I, I I always feel like I've been a part of like three like three or four really like you know that team where you're like, dude, that was special. Right. You know what I mean? You're mm -hmm. like the chemistry was there, the coaching staff was there, the parent support was there. Yeah. And you're like, it only happens. I mean, I've been coaching wrestling for for a long time, and so it's like, I felt it, you know, three or four times. 
and this was just that was it. it was one of those the times. girls, the girls just gelled, and the parents, and uh, and we had a weeding out process. You know, it wasn't for everybody. I'm not for everybody. Yeah. So I felt like I drew the line in the sand with the girls right away. And yeah. some people didn't make the cut, and and mm -hmm. it wasn't ever a talent issue. It was always like a. You know, just a growing issue, right? Yeah, right? They maybe weren't ready for for the expectations, mm -hmm. and so nothing against them, but uh, you know, but it, that's how it goes, dude. Right. You know, you've been on teams where it's Absolutely. like, hey, some yeah. some guys aren't going to make it, yeah. and, and and it's just it's just uh, it's just natural, right. you know. And then we figure it out from there. So, yeah, we're excited. I, I took over the girls' uh, directorship this year, and so we're we're and with the sanctioning, I got a shot in the arm. I got a little pick me up because yeah. I feel like. The, the progression is going to be crazy mm -hmm. because you have all these new girls that are all coming out for wrestling, mm -hmm. right? And so the blessing for us was we got a head start, right? We had 18 months of a head start of organizing girls. Yeah. Um, and so now bringing, them into, bringing the new girls into the fold, um, the, the more mature girls and the experienced girls, we, we went to like 14 trips all over the country together in like this much time. Yeah. You know what I mean? We They wanted to wrestle, and the, the whole time they were getting better and they were seeing results, and they were loving the, the, the camaraderie, just the, the, the sisterhood and stuff. And so mm -hmm. it was it was crazy. And so now with, with the Girls High School State Tournament coming up, I feel like we're putting all the things in place. And, and USA Wrestling, uh, the board there, is, is super supportive, and they are they are the ones driving this, right? They're encouraging, supporting, and then I feel like we're... There, everyone who has a girl wrestler is like, I got a girl wrestler. So my phone blows up, yeah. and and it's and it's healthy, and I feel like we're going to be able to share it, right? And so it's like, okay, Rev could be a hub for girls, but let's also make sure that other girls are getting training closer to their home. So it's it for so for me, if you are if you're a good if you're a coach and you love and you have a passion for girls wrestling and and, and you're you're in it for the right reasons, like let's connect because I'm actively recruiting. You know, you know, sites right now for people to to be there. I don't. Nobody wants to drive three and a half hours. You know what I mean? You you've done it a couple. You know yeah. you you remember going to practices from from far away. Yeah. It was. It had to be worth your time. Right. And so I feel like Rev is worth your time, but I also feel like you can't do it on when I got a test tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you sketch. So we schedule it where we try to get all the girls together uh, at at certain points. But if you have to train regularly and consistently, you got to do it somewhere close to home. That's that's doable for you and your families, and so I, I feel like as a, as a as a parent and, and a grandparent, I, I I can relate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, uh, driving all those miles for my kids, it was like uh, it's a thing. Yeah, and, and oh, you yeah. have to build it into to, right. to everybody's you know lifestyle. So mm -hmm. we're we'll stay with us if we're gonna we're gonna you know putz around the, you know through the process. Right. We're, we're yeah. banging our head a couple times, but I think we're on I think we're on the right track, and I'm definitely. I'm excited for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I, that was actually what my next question was going to be. I mean, great things going on here at Rev for youth wrestling and girls wrestling. What does the future hold? <sighs> RTC? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. And I, I feel like, um, I feel like there is, and, and I follow, I follow the, the cycles, right? The, the Olympic cycles and stuff. And I feel like after the next cycle, there could be, um, there could be, you know, athletes that are going to start, uh, you know, looking for stuff like this, like right? A, a demand for yeah, it. There, yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a need for it, and I think that there's uh, a space for it here. Yeah. You know, I think you think uh, the last seven high school state titles have come, Division One high school state titles have come within twenty minutes of our building, yeah. right? And so I feel like um, we played our role, right? We like we like we 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 do our best to to support all these all these high schools and, and kids and, and they come and they get better and they train together and then they go back to their high schools and and, and hopefully you know hopefully we're giving these high schools quality kids more than anything, yeah. right? We're giving them the future captains. You know, they'll uh, they'll win their state title. Winning is easy if you're doing all the right things. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel yeah. like if you've already if you already know how to work hard and you already know how to be a good teammate. You know the things that they're learning how to do early, uh, you know, and then you get and then you get high level coaches at the high school level that are that are kind of injecting, you know, the little adjustments into their into their training, and then and then I mean it's a, just a recipe for success. So uh, I guess big picture, we'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like I feel like God has a plan for our lives. Yeah. I, I really do, and I feel like uh, in that plan, 
um, just giving per people permission to be who who God made them to be, and yeah. I, and then for me, I, we just do it with the wrestling. And so, uh, so what does that look like? We're, we're uh, at day to day. You know what I mean? I, I feel like on my vision board, um, I ha I have uh, I have a couple things that I really would love to accomplish here, and uh, we'll work towards them every day. Again, I'll, I'll, we're you know we. We work long hours. I'm here, you know, late, especially right now. It's the heat of the season, yeah. so we'll be here till you know X in the morning, yeah. and then we get after it again. And so, we'll work our butt off and, and attack, uh, attack the building and, and things. So, uh, we'll see. I'm excited for it. I, I, yeah. I feel like uh, the things that we have in store are, uh, are are great, right? And I feel like the people that are uh, supporting it are, are are just as awesome. So, yeah. we're grateful. Yeah, well, I mean, the future definitely seems bright, and I appreciate you sitting down, talking with us, doing the interview. Yeah, man. And I appreciate it. Awesome. All right, thanks for your time. Yep.